Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing the first pre-challenge for NTNA Season 7. Swarovski is the sponsor for this round and they have sent these gorgeous crystals to use for this pre-challenge. The theme for this challenge is emotion and the emotion that I chose is insecurity. I chose this because I feel it's an emotion that everyone has felt at least once in their life. It doesn't care how old you are, how young, how big, how tall, how short, how small. Insecurity doesn't care how beautiful someone is. In fact, sometimes it's some of the most beautiful people who can be the most insecure. This is why I chose to use a diamond as the centerpiece of my set. I started off by sketching out the shape of each cut of the diamond, just using a regular lead pencil and filling it in with clear acrylic over a sheet of parchment paper. Then I filed the edges so that they were straight and peeled it off. Then I used a bead of clear acrylic to adhere the cuts of the diamond together. So stereotypically, diamonds are known as one of the most beautiful stones on earth. And I find it a little funny that when a diamond is not perfect, they call these specks or imperfections flaws, quote unquote. So keep that in mind for the rest of the video. Once your cuts have been placed and it's fairly symmetrical, you're gonna flip your stone upside down and you're going to trace out the top. Next, I'm going in with a fine ceramic cone bit just to flatten off those top edges so that the piece we just made fits nice and flush. I'm just using a little bit of base glue and then placing the top on with tweezers and filling in the cracks with a little bit of acrylic just for stability. Now I'm just filing through so that the polish that I apply over top of it applies nice and evenly. Next I'm using some more base glue just to adhere my stones and I'm going in with Swarovski's Crystal Clear Crystals to completely cover each cut of the diamond. Now for our flaw. A single black crystal to symbolize that even something as stunning as a diamond has imperfections that are beautiful. Next I'm using a simple art bead and a pearl of acrylic for the setting of my diamond. Now the thing about insecurity is that it's all about perception. For my next two nails I did two mirrors. One of them that most would consider clean, fancy, and beautiful, and the other one dreary and damaged. Here I'm creating the positive mirror. I'm placing my acrylic and just kind of moving it with my brush before it dries into the shape that I would like. Now I'm going to be decorating it with some beautiful pink 3D roses and then topping it off with some crystal clear pointed back Swarovski crystals. Next I'm decorating the mirror with the provided crystal clear and AB crystals to represent a clean, light, and airy look to signify beauty and positivity. Now I'm going in with a mirrored cardstock, cutting it to size and placing it in the frame. Now for the damaged mirror. I'm starting off with a black acrylic for the frame and using a metallic acrylic to almost burnish the edges to resemble a vintage wood. Now using my dotting tool slightly before it's completely dry, I'm scraping through the metallic acrylic to create cracks in the wood. I'm decorating this mirror with these gorgeous square pointed back crystals. They reflect a stunning green, yellow, and blue, which kind of reminded me of the Evil Queen in Snow White. I then went in with the dark gray and paradise crystals to better display the beauty of the pointed backs. Now I'm gluing the mirrored cardstock to the back of the frame. I chose a black background for my diamond setting to signify beauty and simplicity. I chose a gold glitter background to bring out the beauty of my damaged mirror. And as you can see, the diamond sees its flaw only through this mirror. Now to create the broken mirror effect, I used a blade to cut the shape of a cracked surface signifying the distorted perception of insecurity. Next I chose a silver glitter background for my beautiful mirror to bring out the color of the crystals used in this piece. As you can see through this mirror, there are no flaws to be seen. For my outer two nails, I'm using a mirrored chrome to symbolize actual mirrors. I'm sculpting out small sticky notes for both the positive and the negative mirror. One side promoting encouragement, empowerment, and self-love, while the other is negative, insecure, and very unhealthy. For my negative mirror, I'm going to be using a black crystal and the provided silk crystals for the top of the design. I also included dark gray, paradise, and different sizes of jet hematite and silver night. Now for the positive side. I'm going in with different sizes of crystal AB, electric white, and different AB shapes including small hearts to represent self-love. I also love the AB cones that were provided. I thought it depicted height and is a good reminder to stand tall and keep your head held high. 
So there you have it. I really hope you enjoyed this set. Insecurity, self-love, and self-worth are such a sadly forgotten and unfortunately rare trait in this life. And my only goal as an artist is to empower every single person who I am fortunate enough to come across. Thank you so much for watching and for taking a glimpse into my world where without any uncertainty, what makes you different is what makes you beautiful. See you next time. Oh,